Well, tell me, when did you start coming to Salute? When I was two years old in 1895, and been coming ever summer since. I came up in 1913 to spend a summer. My grandmother brought me up. My mother used to, used to have a dairy down on the creek. She milked several cattle, and I was a boy I told her to milk up to Salute. I remember back in the early 1980s, my grandmother informed me that a book was being published in Saluda to celebrate the centennial anniversary of the town. One day I said to Ann, I said, Ann, let's do a book. She said, okay. We got the interviews, the information, all these visits together and got the book done in three months. I had worked on a previous oral history project for the city of Saluda with the historic Saluda committee and the first thing that everybody told me I needed to do was to get a copy of this book. This is the Bible of Saluda history. In 2010 we had formed the historic Saluda committee and I remember the meeting when someone brought in a large box full of cassette tapes and they were actual interviews that were conducted um, by Ann Osborne and Charlene Pace from back in the 80s. It was just like busy, a busy. Most of the people were just happy to be interviewed and uh, some of them didn't like that little machine going. Working with these tapes and getting to listen to them in their entirety was a real treat because you know, most of the time you experience history, especially history going back to the late 1800s and the early 1900s, you experience that in a kind of a remote way. But this was like being back there. I was actually in the room listening to the conversations that these people had. I think we did it for posterity, just so people would have these facts. I can fondly remember uh, sitting with my grandmother and going over these stories and I hope that um, others will pass these stories on to future generations.